morning, Miss Tammy. Hey. We're on good the way. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, y'all. We're on the way to live, deliver a puppy. Yes. Beautiful puppy. He's been very quiet back here. But we thought we'd do a quick video because it's been a while since we've done one of these. So, uh, Jojo Gutierrez says, Hey, do you sell the oxygen machine regularly? No, we don't. But, and he asks about, does it produce five liters consistently? What we have done in the past is bought a used oxygen concentrator on Craigslist. They're big and bulky. They're for humans. Typically, you could you could find them for 150. I think with COVID, it's now that COVID's kind of hopefully getting much easier, they'll be back on the oh, market again. What, my, what did my? Do you see that? My when I turned my blinker on, my steering wheel went. <laughs> Tammy's Tam been drinking this morning, so what do you expect? No, look well, at what this. is it? Drugs? What, what you, is it? Well, it didn't do it then. That's crazy. Twice it now did she that. can tell me it's time for a new car. I'm waiting for yeah, it. Yeah, I'm a new, need a new one. Anyway, so look, you, our auction concentrator, Craigslist, 150 to 300 bucks. Um, I've got a video out there that shows you how to test it to make sure it's working. But the answer is the lowest setting is what you're going to run it on, which will have the highest concentration. Remember, we're trying to oxygenate, you know, one or two pounds worth of puppies, not 200 pounds of humans. It doesn't need much oxygen. Somebody commented on my Starlink satellite review. They say they love Elon. Yep, me too. Elon's, Elon's quite the guy. Boy, I hope so, because me trying to take phone calls from customers have just been crazy. Just drops the calls, cuts it. James, I need your help. How do you get an old stud dog to remain his mojo? I guess they're asking me that because I'm old. You think that's it? Do I have my mojo, Tammy? Oh, honey, you're not old. <laughs> you're not old. Oh, I thought you were going to say I don't have my mojo. Well, so, look, you'll see all kinds of supplements there for humans and for dogs. And I mean, you know, honestly... You know, oxy stud is something that I see people use. I just don't know about this stuff. I mean, I suspect that there's not a lot you can do. I think it's just part of the process of getting old. I, I think that this is the, the only thing that I can tell you is this. If you've got an older stud, pull from him every month and just kind of keep the pipes going and working and clean. And that's about all you can do. And then when you want to use him, for the 48 hours beforehand, keep them away from any females. And when you're going to use it, put them in front of female, hopefully one in heat, get ready to collect right there and then. Do you know what exit I'm supposed to take? Yes, your I-35. Okay. Uh, a Beautiful Love says, hey, does your U U incubator come with a converter for USP? My car doesn't have a cigarette thing. I've been getting it mainly for travel. No, it doesn't. So USP is not anywhere near enough juice or the right voltage to run the incubator. The you know, incubator, small one, 12 volts, 3 amps minimum. So what's the solution? Well, most of these cars these days that don't have a cigarette lighter adapter, because we're all getting away from cigarettes, which of course is a great thing, but not for my incubators. Most of those cars, like ours, has a 110 like volt SUVs, outlet. I think, yeah. yeah, it has a 110 volt yeah. outlet, and that yeah. would work beautifully. Yeah. Um, but USB just is not going to get it done. So you've got to have either a cigarette lighter adapter or you've got to have a, uh, uh, an inverter in your car or you've got to run a couple of wires from your battery itself. Someone here says, uh, John Kenneth uh, Gimeno says, do they always have glowing red eyes always? So, he's asking about platinum dogs, uh, so... Well, yeah, because it's a lilac. A platinum cannot be a lilac. I mean, sorry, only lilacs or lilac and tans, when they're covered in cream, that's a platinum. Not a blue and tan covered in cream, not a chocolate and tan covered in cream. Only lilacs and lilac and tans are the only platinum dogs there are. Right, so... That's right, but I'm going to say a little bit more about this. And the red eye glow is because they're lilac, they're they're chocolate. Yeah, if a That's dog, red eye if glow. dog has two copies of either CO, little CO, little CO, or little B, little B, it will have a red eye glow after they're eight weeks old, and it will be obvious on a video, not just fleeting, sure. obvious, That's unless 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 what? It's a moral. That's it. Unless they're moral. So here's the interesting one: what happens if you have a platinum moral? 
because it's covered in cream, you won't see it. So you could have a cream moral that might show a red eye glow and in fact would not be a chocolate. So 35 straight. Yes. Okay. Another couple of months ago. So I don't know, so that's why they can hiccup you. So be careful if your dog's got a moral parent. <laughs> and it's a platinum, you don't know if it carries moral, so you're gonna have to do a do, test anyway. DNA. Yeah, do anyway, yeah. you know. How do I contact you for stud prices? Well, phone number's in the listing under, underneath all of this, so you can kind of there. Um, if you're looking for puppies, you contact me at 580-799-1910. Products is James, and questions about studs is James or Cody. James' phone number is 580-799-2873. Cody's phone number is... 806-664-0173. And all questions really go to Cody these days. Cody is the front man. Cody is the man you want. This is about our puppies. Everything else is ready. Cody is ready for your phone call. It's very oh, yeah. And he's Cody, good. Oh, Cody's. Here's what Cody is. He's as good as us and he's younger, so he's even better at dealing with people and he's even more. He, he used to be an HR. He knows. He's a good guy. He's not an old man like not you. Not an old oh, man. I didn't mean that. Not an old man. Oh, I didn't say and old he's man. got his mojo. He's got his mojo. Does he ever have his mojo? Have his mojo. He's got a thick That's head of hair. That's my son. Yes. Uh, He's a good looking kid. Uh, oh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy says, I wish I could start a career being a stud. Well, you can, Tommy. If you've got the right body for seek and build, you can get into the porn industry and then you're a stud, dude. So it's like, you know, it's like everybody's got dreams. Oh, you so just 24-7. Somebody asked, where am I from? Where am I from? I'm in a state of confusion. I'm from Oklahoma. I'm these days, I'm a U.S. Really? citizen. Yeah. Used to be, I used to be uh, English, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a U.S. citizen. Yeah. Okay, oh, somebody so says here, they texted us and we returned to call within 10 minutes. How long we did are, I go down this road? Uh, 2CI 35. Oh, somebody says they're really excited about the series where we showed five of our studs. Screw it up on the video and I only showed you four. I'm going to redo the video, show five. And yes, we will do some more. In fact, the whole plan is just to really so that... I think what I'm going to do is new videos on every single stud with all yeah, of their characters. I think characters. you left out Bazinga. Did, I did you put I did. him on there yet? No, I didn't, but oh, I will. James. I know. Lots of responses on those videos and stuff. They're all nice. Yeah, That's great. Yeah, but you need Bazinga in there. Bazinga. Yes. Karma Estella it. says, What happens if constipation repeats after enema with a tube fed baby on formula? Is there anything natural that can be added to the formula? No, there isn't. Um, there, there are some, there are some uh, um, anti diarrhea medications that you can use to humans and dogs. You have to go Google that because I, I don't give out dosages. I don't but, go to Dallas. But uh, I would say keep up with the enemas. You can do it, two or three a day. You're going to take 235? Is that what it is? No, not Dallas, the other one. No, it's 35. 35. Yeah, 235 much. south, it says. You don't want that. I mean, north. I'm sorry. 35 south. What's Sorry, folks, we're, we're traveling and we've got to. Don't want to mess up. 2.5 miles, 35 miles. Okay. All right, back to where we were before Tammy interrupts us. 35 miles. Well, it said 235. Yeah, but you're looking for 35 miles. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, Can you tell we're married? Have you heard about AKC suspending registration on Fluffers? If so, could you possibly do a video? Well, I did hear about this the other day. So, I, I don't, why you got a comment on this? Or is this not for general consumption? Yeah. Okay, well there is some chatter going on about this. I'm gonna find out more and I'll do a video on Did it. Did you see that sign? It said Edmund 235 North. It's not where you want, 235 North. Okay. Uh, uh, Taras Queen said, I sent a couple of emails inquiring about Picasso. My girl's name is, what kind of pop do I expect? I know you're busy, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Look at the sign. Yeah, you See don't it? want that. You want 35 miles. Um, mm. So, text me, call me. My number's there. That's probably the best way to get hold of me if I've not responded to stuff. I need to pay attention to the signs right um, here. 35 miles. 
35 volts. Start straight. At what age do you start taping puppy's legs? I don't know. I've got traffic, James. Don't ask me. She's got traffic. Well, look. Okay, that's fine. Hey, if we have an accident, this video will stop stop completely. Okay. Tulsa 35. That's what you want. Uh, well, when do you start taping puppies up? Well, you start taping pu pu puppies up when puppies start to exhibit a problem with swimmer's syndrome where they've got their legs stuck out and they're walrusing around not getting up on their feet. Start that the moment that happens. Typically, they're going to be to the point where their eyes are probably just about to open or have opened. So, seven to ten days is the soonest. And then keep doing it until it fixes the problem. So, people ask me, how long should I do it for? I promise you, the other puppies and mum will get the tape off within a day or less. So keep taping it up, keep doing it until that puppy's getting up on his feet properly. If you catch it early, typically 24, 48 hours, the whole thing's sorted out. If, you, if you're if you way late on this, the puppy's seven weeks old, you might be fighting this for weeks. Somebody's asking about... Someone has a dame who's cream, and both parents are cream. Parents are my sire, blue and tan. Parents are light, tan and solid. What, 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 what will the puppies be? Can't answer that one. Because with cream, you can have any color possible under the DNA. sun. Can be hidden under the cream. So without that, we just don't know. There could yeah. be brindle under there. Yeah. We d we just don't, don't know. See it. Yeah, just don't know. Got the DNA, folks. So you didn't say that the lilac dog carried cream. So we don't know whether it's we'll get cream. It's worth every penny to yeah. get a DNA done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's no question. So more information required here about previous litters, the litter mates of this, those would help the situation. But without that information, it's just totally a crapshoot on that one. Uh, somebody here uh, near B says, wish people wouldn't sell dogs till they're ready to go. Every dog has a different personality. Uh, doesn't show I heard until of a guy that. buying a puppy, French Bulldog puppy, and taking it home with him at six weeks old. That is a big no-no. Who wouldn't do that? So how old is this girl, no, no. girl back here? Oh, she is, well, I finally decided to let her go. The other ones all went at ten and a half weeks. So she's about yeah, 13 weeks, weeks now, right? Yeah. And she's been with us in the kitchen. She plays, she goes outside, oh, she knows the cat. She's a beautifully well-adjusted yeah. dog. So I agree entirely. I think that it's a mistake to let puppies go until at least they've had their second shot. They're, they're so stressed out. They're not ready to leave yet at no, six I, weeks old. That's ridiculous. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Pl plus also, I mean the other on, part- When you're flying, they really don't want those puppies on that airplane until they're 10 weeks old. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look, you need to have the second set of shots and let that settle oh, down for yes. a few days. So that's nine weeks. We do and six weeks. weeks and nine week shots. I know California, Florida yep. do theirs different, but we get at least two shots down our babies before they ever leave our home. And I think there's a difference, by the and way. A check. If this is somebody who lives down the road, that's different. Then maybe that dog could go at eight weeks because they can bring the dog back if there's an issue. But remember this, dogs do not have full immunity until mm -hmm. they've had three sets of shots and they're six months no, old. No, four, 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 four shots, James, okay, four. and they're rabies. Yeah. Keep your babies at home. So that's don't six months, right? Don't take them to PetSmart, don't take them to the park, don't introduce them to other dogs until they have had all four shots and then the rabies. What age is that? Then you can take what them. Age that's time? usually anywhere from, you know, like... The earliest would be 14 weeks, but like 14 to 16 weeks. Yep. Take care of those babies. Just they're, they're your big baby. You invested a lot of money for these babies. Take care of them. Get them wormed. Make sure they're nice and healthy. Get them all the right food. So, do two more quick questions. Hi, guys, are you still breeding Frenches? Absolutely, we're breeding Frenches. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so if you're interested in a puppy... For 17 years we've bred Yeah, look at the information below on this video and there'll be phone numbers and how to contact us and our website and all that stuff's right there. Um, can you do a video on how to know if your weak old puppy, puppy is healthy? Sure, I'll probably do a video on that, but let's just answer it real quick. I mean, look, a healthy puppy is what, Tammy? What's a healthy puppy? How, what, a happy puppy. Well, how's, it, how's it behaving? <laughs> 
it acts like a running around playing. Well, it's a week old. Oh, it's a week old. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. It's I'm a week old. Paying so what will a week directions. old what will a week old puppy be doing? Oh, well, it'll be nursing. It'll be nursing on mum vigorously. Yes. It'll be the rest of the time. It'll be sleeping. Um, sleeping it, and nursing. Sleeping nursing and nursing sleeping. and pooping oh. and pooping, and it will be quiet. And it might be noisy when mum cleans it up, but that's about the only time it'll be noisy. Um, I'll get you here in a second, Terry. Okay. So it's the And then put your finger in its mouth. If its mouth is moist. And warm. And warm. And it suckles. You got yourself a good puppy right yep. there. If it's yep. cold, it's crying, or it's not nursing, you have got a problem. Yep. And it's time to have one of our incubators okay. on hand. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.